All right. So what we have here is the Behringer UM300 Ultra Metal Pedal. And uh, I, when I saw this, I had to get this because of the picture of the guy in the back of the box. Look at that. Can you see that guy? All right. Uh, you know, I've always kind of wanted to be like this guy. This guy right here is where it's at. This is where I want my life to be after I buy this pedal. Uh, the pedal is, it's more than just a basic distortion pedal. It's modeled after a Boss Metal Zone and uh, it has your basic distortion control. It has a high frequency, a mid frequency, and a low frequency. Now the mid frequency, the band, or the frequency you want to cut or boost is selectable over here. So if you spend some time with it, you can get a pretty decent sound. I bought it because I thought it would sound good for lead, but I had more of a hard time getting a good so sound for lead with this. I felt like it sounded kind of harsh, but where I think the guitar pedal is good is if I use it for like a rhythm, like a heavy metal rhythm. And it sounds great for like dive bomb harmonics with your rhythm, like a really chunky bridge pickup sound is where I think that this pedal sounds pretty good at. Uh, the construction is pretty cheap is what you'd expect from Behringer. I paid $20 for it and I thought like, yeah, $20 is, will give me a fun filled afternoon of screwing around with it. Uh, we're going to be going through a PV Valve King, which is right behind me. Uh, we're going to go a little conservative at times and we're going to probably go full bore. So you're going to get like a full spectrum of what this pedal can do. I do feel like it can get a pretty decent like a uh, hard blues tone if you kind of dial everything back. And it's kind of good as almost like an EQ'd distortion since that mid frequency is sweepable. You can get some pretty uh, conservative sounds out of it as well. But uh, overall, I think that the lead tone is kind of harsh. It, it tends to sound pretty harsh. But anyways, uh, let's see what I do with this. Okay, it looks like we got most of it at 12 o'clock, except for the distortion. It's up a little bit more. Levels up all the way. We're going to be running it through a Valve King cleat channel. This is what it sounds like without it. That's the volume. Got some delay on there too. This is the boost it's going to give. Substantially louder. kind of go through basic sounds with it so th that was like what I would play with set it up for lead all right we're going through single coils right now but frequency is about in the middle let's turn up the low gain and see what that sounds like and do a similar type of riff. we're going to turn it up all the way let's hear that <laughs> knobs a little bit put that back in the middle uh, let's tr try changing the mid frequency
back down. All right, now let's try to get a little conservative. Let's see if we can get like a like a bluesy sound. We're gonna turn that distortion. Uh, almost probably about a quarter. <laughs> Now let's do what a typical metal guitar player does and sweep the mids. Just turn the mid uh, about to a quarter. Oh man, that does not sound very appealing to me. I think it sounds better with the mids on halfway. Most of this pedal sounds good with all the controls halfway and we got the volume at a quarter right now uh... level is up all the way Let's turn it up all the way and try to do lead. Oh my goodness. rhythm with the uh, distortion all the way up. I'm sorry, I don't really work on much metal rhythm, so I'm going to play pretty much the same riff. But let's try to do something in A. <laughs> something with humbuckers. I'm gonna switch over to this passive EMG all the way up.
pretty good with delay. Actually, it's not as bad for lead as I remember. I'm going to turn that distortion to, to half wave. All right. <laughs> pretty good on these EMGs too. I mean, I think it, sound, it actually sounds better than I remember, but I, let's do a, another rhythm thing. I think the rhythm sounds good with delay too. All right. <laughs> say this pedal I turn the volume up distortion sounds good almost anywhere on it and I'd say keep everything in the middle usually keeping stuff at 12 o'clock usually a pretty safe bet to make something sound good if you don't know what to do that's what I usually do whenever I get a pedal is I put everything at 12 o'clock if I'm unsure oh and if you like my video uh, please remember to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot I have a normal day job and this is what I do on the weekends I'm actually on vacation right now but uh, if you could like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it if this sounds interesting to you if you like this type of content you know please feel free to like and subscribe and please give me any questions or comments and all comments are welcome I don't even care about the haters I don't care trust me I deal with a lot more worse stuff in my life than having to worry about punk ass kids writing mean comments on my shit so uh thank you